Hello and welcome back to GarCube. Today I am going to unbox the YJ MGC Big Cube lineup from dailypuzzles.com.au. Let's get into it. Alright, so I have my trusty scalpel here and let's get into these boxes. My scalpel is pretty rusty actually, so. Oh, wow. Really trusty. Never mind. Okay. Alright. There's that box and this box. Alright, so we've got the boxes open. Now let's get inside them. Okay, so we've got this package here. And here we also have the package. Ooh, some paper, brown paper. Nothing inside that. We've got the MGC 7x7 here. Very exciting. The MGC 5x5. Also very exciting. Some lubricant silk. Not that exciting, but still be interesting. We have a daily puzzles cube stand, which is nice. Good to see. A little order processing leaflet. Daily puzzles card. And a bit of fun. We've got the Team Ting Man collector card. So there we go. I'll put that on my Instagram and maybe I'll get a shout out. Let's have a look at this. Team Ting Man, nice. Okay, so there you go. So that's a pretty nice little card there. Good fun. Um, I don't really like that. Yeah, so that that's really nice, I think. And time to open up the other package. Here it is. The YJ MGC 6x6. And also the YJ MGC 4x4. No other accessories inside that package, but it's fine. Got the cubes, and boy, am I excited! Oh wow! So I have waited about a month for these cubes to arrive. Um, I ordered them nearly a month and a half ago now, and they've been shipping for a long time. Some from China and some from uh, Australia, of course. So no surprise really that they took a bit of time to arrive, but that's fine. They're here now. Let's just line them all up. Oops, wrong order. Nice maths there. Oh, cool. The box is kind of. You get a nice strip along there. I like that. Wow. Nice. Uh, MGC. There we go. So I really like how the boxes line up, first of all. That looks really nice. Very exciting to get into. Let's move our accessories to the side for now. And I think I'm going to start by getting straight into the 7x7. That is the newest puzzle and um, it looks really great. I've seen a lot of reviews on it. It's pretty fresh, hot off the market. So let's get straight into it. Go. Peel that off. Oh, I just, I mean, just look at this box. That's so nice with the honeycomb textured pattern and the MGC logo there. Some stuff that I don't understand on the bottom. Nice little YJ logo on the side, and I like how they keep this constant throughout all of the MGC puzzles. So then we've got this little sleeve that we can just slide off like this. Ooh, that's quite tight. There we go. There's the YJ MGC sleeve. And here's our box. So, lifting the lid. Oh, a really nice smooth lid. Not quite going to come off. There we go. And here it is. So, in here we have got the 7x7, of course. And we have got an accessory box. So, let's just have a little look at the accessory box. I uh, don't know who this is on the front. Some guy. Maybe the owner of YJ. Let's see what we get inside this box. Ooh, we get this stand, which I think is a special foldable cube stand. So I guess I'll have to try and work out how that works. Should be interesting. Uh, we get a little solution pamphlet. Don't think I'll be needing this. 
so there we go. Um, oh, nice screwdriver to tension stuff with. Uh, interesting design, nice and ergonomic with the grippy handles. And we get some magnets and some springs and some more springs. So let's just move all those accessories to the side. And now, here it is, it's time to get into the cube itself. Nice MGC logo right in the centre. Some really good looking shades. And let's open it up. Okay. There's a little bit misaligned there. So here it is, my first ever 7x7 I've ever owned holding it in my hands right now and the shades come out, come out a bit lighter on the camera but they're actually really vibrant in real life really lovely blue and red and the green is quite nice maybe it could be a tiny bit darker and the orange really good pretty traditional yellow whites and let's get into some turns wow Wow, really do feel the magnets there. Really nice, strong magnet feel. I'll just zoom in so that we can have a closer look at the turns. And the layers do feel really good. Wow, look, look at that U layer, doing nice U2 flicks there. That is really satisfying to do. Wow. Oh. Yeah, the turning is really good actually. Feels really, just feels like it makes it makes for really accurate turning. It's not super fast, which is good because I can always tension it. See, look, it's fairly tight at the moment, I think, and it allows for really accurate turning. It's not been over lubed, so so out of the box, it's actually fairly dry, which is nice because it means that you can do your own settings of lubricants. And the inner layers also feel really good. They're kind of a bit clunky at the moment. I think they need a bit of lubing. Ooh, bit of a lock up there. There we go, no big problems. Ooh, this is nice. Wow, that is really impressive from YG. Next up, we'll get into the 6x6. Here it is. We've got the same box and uh, interesting shapes on the box, these red things. A bit different to the 6x6. Same style, a bit different, which is always nice. Have a bit of change a bit unique and let's cut away some of the plastic film all right Ooh, lots of packaging and let's open up the box so same box style we've got the MGC stuff on it and let's just get the sleeve off There we go, came off a bit easier there. And let's open up the box. Okay. All right, and we have the exact same design inside the box with the cube and then the accessories. So let's have another look at the accessories. Expecting it to be quite similar, really. The exact same box with the guy on the front, the random guy who I have no idea about. And let's just get in there. Yeah, that looks like everything. So we don't have the folding stand this time, as I think that's a new addition. We've got springs and magnets, pretty typical. And we've got the same screwdriver, so it seems that I'm going to have a lot of these by the end of this unboxing. And then we also have a pamphlet, as usual, which I'll discard, as usual. Okay, time to get into the cube. All right, feels really light actually, considering uh, how big it is, well, considering that it's a six by six. And we've got the same shade, so the green again comes out pretty light on camera, but it looks fairly nice in real life. The blue and red especially stand out. And I'm gonna go into some first turns, so I'll go back into my turning angle. And let's give it a try. Wow, that is really smooth better than the 7x7 I would say, which is to be expected 
as it has less layers, but that is really special. That is quite something. Ooh, that piece has already tried to pop. <laughs> okay, so one thing I have heard about this cube is that it does pop a fair bit, which might be a bit frustrating. However, I don't think it will matter too much because I can tell already that the turning is really nice and that the magnets are doing a great job. Let's try some algorithms. Yeah, that's really good. It's about equivalent to my current 4x4 in terms of how quick I can do algorithms, which is really good considering that it's a 6x6. Next, we'll get into the 5x5. So, this one has got tiles on the box, sort of cubes. So again, same style, different design. I'm really liking the way they make these boxes. They look really good, in my opinion. So, let's get into this now. I've heard that the 5x5 is particularly great, uh, especially for people who've never had a good 5x5 before. So, <laughs> that's me. So hopefully I'll be enjoying this very much. Sleeve, and let's get into it. Satisfying box sliding off again, and uh, this cube looks really small compared to the six and seven that I've just been unboxing. I'm sure it's not actually that tiny, but there we go. There it is. Accessories box again. I'll just do this quickly because we know about the accessories box by now. It'll be the same stuff, I'm guessing. Yep. Oh good, a different colour screwdriver. Not always the same. That's nice. Magnet springs. More springs. Solving leaflet box. There we go. And let's get into the cube. Okay, so uh, I'll just pop the box over there. It feels really nice size in my hands actually. It feels like it's gonna turn really well and that it's just the perfect size for my hands, which is always good. Ooh, look at that. Okay. So I'm not going to go over the shades every time because they're the same on all these MGC cubes. So I'm just going to get straight in there with some turning and we will have a look at how it does. Wow. Oh my goodness. That is insane. Whoa. Oh. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe how quick that is. Oh, oh, that's amazing. It feels so snappy, wow. Oh, I always forget the parity algorithm, never mind. Huh. Wow. That has such good turning. The magnets feel really good, get it into place really nicely. And I am loving this. So I'm kind of just scrambling it right now because I realised that I <laughs> messed up the parity algorithm again. I don't know why. I haven't practiced big cubes for a while, so that would be why, I guess. Never mind. Okay, turning is so good on this. This is the one I'm most impressed with so far. I mean, the others were good, don't get me wrong, but that, that turning is just ridiculously good. Buy this cube already. Wow. Okay, I'm just going to solve it, and I'll be back in a minute. Uh, I'll put it in checkerboard, and then I'll talk about the 4x4. Four four. All right, 5x5 five five is solved and in checkerboard, and that was a super satisfying experience. I love that. So finally now, it's a shame that it's almost over because this is so fun. It's time to get into the 4x4. Four four. So let's again open up the box. We've got some geometric shapes, triangles interestingly on this one. All right. Uh, yeah, nice box as usual. Let's get the sleeve off. Ooh. Yeah. Got a tight sleeve on this one. And there we go. Sleeves off. 
typical box as usual. Yeah, I'll just highlight the shapes on this one because I do really like them. I think they look really good. You can maybe just about make out these little triangular bits if my camera decides to focus. Yeah, like that. Pretty nice. Now let's get into the box. Alright, so accessories box. We've seen it all before. Oh, it's another red screwdriver. I was hoping for like green or yellow. Never mind. Three reds, one blue. Springs, etc. Pamphlet. Boring. And box. And let's go into the cube. Oh, look at that. This looks so nice. I feel like I say this every time, but I just like the way 4x4s look. I think they're just the perfect size. I think cube companies have just got 4x4s really well now. And at this stage, they're really performing really great. Oh, interesting. The green seems to be a bit darker on this one. I don't know if it'll come out on camera, but it feels like that green is a bit darker. I'm not really sure. Of course, as usual, the really great uh, red and blue. And let's go in with some turns. Ooh, sandy feel. That's interesting. I wasn't really expecting that. The others were all... They weren't, they weren't wet, but they weren't sandy either. Wow, those magnets are so great. The fact that I can execute a T-perm that quickly on a 4x4 is just... <laughs> that's just great. Wow. This turning is this turning is crazy. I can already tell that this cube is really good. I think you definitely need some lube because it's pretty dry out of the box. But the fact that it's turning so well when it's completely dry and untensioned just says a lot about the cube, really. Wow. The magnets, as on all of these puzzles, are a fair strength. And the cube's pretty quiet, actually. Yeah, that's really great. So there you have it, guys. The YJ MGC lineup. There's the 4x4 in checkerboard looking really nice, as usual. So that's good news. And I did manage to remember the parity ALG, which is also good, uh, both PLL and OLR parity. So just a couple little extras. I might have a little look at the Lubical Silk. So as you can see here, we have a nice little bottle of Cubicle Labs Silk, which looks good. So I'll be trying this out in some of my puzzles over the next few days. So stay tuned and I might give a little update on my progress. I'll probably do an end by end relay along with my 3x3 and of course my 2x2. So um, wait and see about that and I'm sure that I am going to love these puzzles if you want budget cubes that are magnetic and turn really well, then you can't go wrong with this lineup. You literally can't go wrong with the MGCs, so go buy them. Buy them from Cubes UK, maybe, if you're in the UK, or just whatever your local cube retailer is, because international shipping is slow. But to be fair, Daily Puzzles customer service was very good. So there we have it. <laughs> I am feeling really happy and really excited to get into these cubes and have a look in greater detail. So that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed the video make sure you tell me in the comments section and make sure you share the video and subscribe if you want to see more of this thank you guys